there it's Hillary and welcome back for another creative thief video today I'm so excited to be sharing with you guys my 2022 planner lineup I cannot believe we are heading into a new year and I know that God just has so many new things in store for you for me and for you and I'm excited to share what I'm going to be using to plan things out. So I have, yeah, just a handful here and I'm just going to, I guess, kind of go through them one at a time. Maybe I'll start with the smallest one and work to the, <laughs> work to the biggest one. Um, so the smallest one I have here is the do not give up wellness planner. This is a brand new planner that I made and designed. Also, I wanted to mention that I have a whole blog post that is a roundup of my planner products and printables. I will link it in the description box below. So definitely check that out if you love things planner related. So anyways, this is my brand new do not give up wellness planner. I am using the B6 size and it is very cute and I'm really looking forward to focusing and working on my wellness in 2022. Doing, I've just in this in 2021 done a horrible job of eating healthy and working out and moving my body and I really really want to focus and know that I need to focus on that in the new year. So of course I made an adorable planner for it and I have a whole YouTube video about these wellness planners that I'll link down below but they're really awesome they have a monthly section a spot to kind of grade yourself on how well you did a spot for gratitude and then the weekly layouts have a spot for you to put your workout that you did each day and what meals you ate so stay tuned for lots of videos and I know that having this is going to keep me accountable um, so you'll probably see this more on my YouTube channel because I want to actually follow through <laughs> and yeah, so it's, this is the brush stroke version. It's really, really pretty. I love how it turned out with this message of do not give up. This one is one of my traveler's notebook planners. It is the brown crosses and I will link this below on Amazon as well as this one <laughs> and I use this for my job at the church and I basically just use it for tracking my hours. I started it in July so I've only used half of it so I am going to use it for kind of the first half of 2022 and yeah it's a really fun size to decorate each week and I love seeing this just sit open on my desk at work uh, because it is cute and inspiring and puts a smile on my face. So I really, really like this planner. I love the size of it and I have lots of different styles of the Traveler's Notebook planners and lots of different cover options as well. I went a little bit crazy. <laughs> But yeah, so this is what I use for tracking my hours at my job at the church. All right, this one, I'm pretty sure I'm going to try and use it, <laughs> but I'm not like 110% sure. I was looking around trying to find, I, I have been using one of these. It's a skinny happy planner for 2021 and I like this for journaling. It's a very similar layout to my traveler's notebook ones. It's just bigger. And so this is a great size for journaling for me because I can write like a little bit of what, excuse me, of what happens each day. I again love decorating this size. I think it's such a fun size to decorate. And so I was using it in 2021 for journaling each day. But then partway through the year, I got really overwhelmed and I got very overwhelmed in the summer of 2021. And so I just stopped using it. 
which I was like, good for me for stopping using it. But then now it's December and I'm sad that I only have half a year documented. So <laughs> this is absolute craziness. Don't do what I do, but I am going back and trying to fill in <laughs> journaling from what happened, mostly on like the weekends, you know, whether we were on vacation or doing something fun or a big activity for church. And then I was using these pages for printing pictures and doing kind of some memory keeping. And so I'm like now going back and trying to do that <laughs> for the last half of 2021. Not my brightest idea, but I think it'll be nice when it's done. But anyways, so my goal is going to be to use this for journaling in 2022. Hopefully it will work. Um, it's a very, very beautiful planner. I love, love, love florals. And this one is so pretty. Sweet subscriber and friend sent it to me. And it's just so pretty. I love it. Um... So I'm having it in this video, but if I get partway through January and decide, oh, it's just too much, I can set it aside. I'm very excited about this one. This is my New Beginnings A5 Planner. It is the one page horizontal planner. I have three different styles of planners. I have a one page horizontal. I have a one page boxes that looks like set up like how a uh, classic or a dashboard planner is from Happy Planner, but the side is just dot grid, so you can customize it. And then I also have one that's horizontal um, as well. And I have a YouTube video all about those three new styles of planners that I made for the new year, and I'll link that video down below. But I picked the A5 size. Um, in 2021, I was using a B6, so the smaller size for my weekly planner. And I just wanted to try something different. Um, this gives me a little bit more space to make to-do lists, which is what I do over here. Gives a little more space to decorate, which I really enjoy doing. And yeah, so I'm just excited to mix it up and try something new. I love the cover of this. It's a very, very pretty design. I love the butterfly. And there's just a lot of new things that I think are going to happen in 2022. So... I've kind of started setting it up and yeah so this is going to be my catch-all planner I will put events activities to-do lists errands to run things to clean everything goes in here and so I, I use the monthly layout to keep track of events and activities and then the week I you know, again, utilize a lot of lists and check boxes and things like that. And it's really, really, really awesome to keep me organized. And yeah, so this is what I am going to use for my catch all planner. And it will be, you know, I'll take it with me all the time, everywhere. And so I'm looking forward to using this. All right. <laughs> I have been struggling with a planner for creative faith. <laughs> I, in my catch-all planner, most weeks have a personal to-do list and a creative faith to-do list. Um, but I have really been struggling with a planner for creative faith. I used ha a classic happy planner for a while, and I liked that because I could add the pages and rip them out and stuff, but I, this is a classic that I'm using for Bible study notes, but this is too big to carry around. I never took it anywhere. So then I would be at my job at the church and I would think of an idea and I'd be scribbling it down on post-it notes and I'd end up, you know, in my car and then recycling on accident and my purse. And so I, I didn't really use it. So then I made a weekly goals planner, <laughs> um, which it, for creative faith, I made a planner that you can get on Amazon and it just has a spot for top three goals of the week and a space below to write out to-do lists to accomplish those. But again, I like haven't really been using it. <laughs> and instead I have all, cause there weren't 
there were, weren't a ton of pages, oh, well, there were a chunk of pages at the end that were dot grid, but I don't know, it just didn't give me enough room to brainstorm projects and things like that. So I really haven't, to be quite honest, used it <laughs> during this year. So I'm going to try a bullet journal. I have been actually really missing using a bullet journal. I used a bullet journal in 2019 for my catch-all planner and I loved, loved, loved it. Um, the part I didn't like was setting up the monthly calendars each week and setting up the weekly layouts each week. I didn't like that. It took a lot of time, which is why I made this planner because it's like the perfect combination between a bullet journal, you know, with dot grid pages that you can customize and use how you want, but the monthly and the weekly are already laid out. And so that's why I made these planners was because I wanted kind of a combination of a bullet journal and a planner and like between each of these monthly layouts, there's dot grid pages. So I choose to use one of mine as a bill tracker and one of them as a title page, but you could use it for habit trackers. You could use it for gratitude. There's tons of different ways that you can use this. Um, and so that's why I made this planner because it's the perfect combination between a bullet journal and a planner that you can customize. You know, it has the weeks laid out, but you can customize it. So, but I've, I've been missing a bullet journal. And so I thought I'm going to try using a bullet journal for creative faith for the new year. So I, I haven't set it up yet, but I have like all these different kind of trackers I want to do um, and, and whatnot at the beginning. And then, you know, maybe like 20 or so pages in, I'm going to do like a monthly title page because I think those are fun to make and then make to-do lists for things that I need to get done. And then in the back, I can use the back part and kind of work back to front so they'll meet in the middle and use this for brainstorming projects and YouTube videos and courses and printables. And so I can, you know, do whatever I want. And it's an A5, well, it's a bullet journal size, which is about the same size as my planner. So I can bring these together wherever I want. Um, so I'm going to try it out <laughs> and we're going to see how it works. I don't know. I just have been struggling with finding a good system for my business planning. Um, yeah, this is a Leuchtstrom 1917. I know a lot of people love the Archer and Olive books, but I like the number of pages that this has. And I really like when a notebook gets like, I don't know, when the pages get crinkly and when, when it, you know, it looks used. And to me, sometimes the Archer and Olive books, you know, there's, the pages are so thick that it doesn't, I don't know. Anyways, so I'm going to use this. I put a few stickers on the front already. Um, I will link my 2022 vinyl stickers in my Etsy shop. There's a handful left, so definitely pick one of these up. Then the Trust in Him is from my friend Megan's shop. It's called The Blessed Shop. I'll link that below. And then this is from Neely's Photo. It's her Instagram. She sent this one to me, and I just loved kind of the floral theme of encouraging stickers. And just I'll link her shop down below too. So that is what I'm going to try out. Again, I can always change, but try this out for my business. And then last but not least, I have my classic copy planner that I use for Bible study notes. And I have a setup video for this that I'll link down below. I'm so excited about using this. It is a stunning planner. <laughs> Again, I love florals. So look how beautiful. I love the dividers. I love the um, horizontal layout for doing Bible study notes. I got the cute dashboards that match. And I have a lot of printables from my Etsy shop in the front for the trackers and patterned papers and, and whatnot. So I'm excited to use these for my Bible study notes. And that is my 2022 planner lineup. I'm going to try it out 
and again subject to change <laughs> we'll see but I'm gonna try these out and yeah I'm excited to jump into new planners and use these in the new year um again I will link I'm not sure kind of the order of how I'm gonna upload everything um but I will link setup videos for these as I get them done. So be sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below and the bell notification so you don't miss out on any Creative Thief videos. And definitely check out my planner products and printables blog post roundup. Um, you can see all the Creative Thief planners I have. You can see I'm using three of them this year. Um, as well as lots of fun printables and things that you can use in your planning too. So here's to a new year. God has good and new things ahead. And I can't wait to see what you guys are using. So comment below what planners are you using in the new year. I'd love to hear. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.